Welcome to Friday Night Family Meeting. One autumn day, a hungry coyote walked through the forest, sniffing the air and scanning the bushes for something to eat. Suddenly, out of the corner of its eye, the coyote saw something move. By the time it turned to look, all was still. When the coyote continued along its way, the movement returned. The coyote gazed intently upon the area, but saw nothing unusual. Frustrated, it stood motionless. Again, something moved, and this time, the coyote saw what it was. Camouflaged by its brown stripes, a chipmunk scurried through the leaves and shadows. The coyote quietly crept along the ground, trying not to be seen. Soon, it would pounce on the chipmunk and enjoy a tasty meal. As the coyote drew closer, it peeked to get a better view. But the chipmunk was nowhere to be found. Startled, the coyote looked and sniffed all around. But there was no sign of the chipmunk. Finally, the coyote gave up and went in search of easier prey. Where could the chipmunk have gone? How did it disappear, leaving no trace? It couldn't have vanished into the air. How did this tiny chipmunk frustrate the big hungry coyote? Surprisingly, the answer lies in the chipmunk's orderliness. For the chipmunk, orderliness is a matter of life and death. At the entrance of its home, the chipmunk never leaves dirt. If it did, that coyote would have seen the entrance to the chipmunk's home where it was hiding. The chipmunk wipes its feet on the grass before entering its burrow and clears any dirt from the entrance so that it doesn't track mud into its home. A chipmunk digs its home underground with tunnels in the dirt from room to room. Though the chipmunk runs quickly through the tunnels, it doesn't get dirty. The chipmunk makes the tunnels wide enough so that the hair on its body stays clean and it runs through it. The bigger the chipmunk grows, the bigger it makes the tunnels to keep clean and orderly. A chipmunk has different rooms at various levels in the ground. There are bedrooms, storage rooms, and even a nursery. In its home, the chipmunk has a place for everything and keeps everything in its place. It brings blades of grass and tree leaves into its bedroom to make a soft and comfortable bed. It chooses just the right leaves and grass so that the bed is not too wet and not too dry. However, a chipmunk doesn't store food in its bedroom, nor to leave crumbs in its bed. That would not be orderly. The chipmunk also has a kitchen. However, it doesn't bring grass into the kitchen. Rather, the chipmunk brings seeds, nuts, berries, corn, and wheat, and stores them in proper places like a kitchen cabinet. The chipmunk doesn't mix the food together, but keeps it separate and in order. Chipmunks also have bathrooms. When the waste builds up in the bathroom, the chipmunk takes it out and carries it far away so that it doesn't make the burrow smell. That's very important because, if the coyote had smelled the chipmunk's bathroom, it could have located the chipmunk's home. The chipmunk keeps its bathroom clean because it doesn't want to run out the front door someday into the waiting mouth of a hungry coyote or bobcat. Every time the chipmunk leaves its burrow in search of food, is in danger of being eaten by hawks, coyotes, and other predators. That's why chipmunks carry as much food as possible in their mouths. The chipmunk is so orderly in arranging things in its mouth that it can hold up to 31 kernels of corn or 32 beech nuts, or 
65 sunflower seeds, or 145 grains of wheat in its mouth at one time. The more it can carry in its mouth, the fewer dangerous trips it has to make for gathering food. For the chipmunk, orderliness really is a matter of life and death. Each one of us should keep our homes at least as orderly as the chipmunk does. That means you should keep the entrance to your home clean and neat. Wipe your feet when entering the house. Clean off the kitchen counters and put everything in its proper place. Clean up your bedroom and the leftover peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that have been sitting under your pillow for three months. Yes, we know about those. Maybe you should take those dirty shoes and smelly clothes to the laundry room to be clean so your room won't stink. Take out the garbage and always keep a clean bathroom. It may not always be a matter of life and death, but orderliness helps us to be efficient. Keep yourself and your home neat and clean so you can be as orderly as the chipmunk. 1 Corinthians 1440 But all things must be done becomingly and in order. Wow, the chipmunk is so orderly, it can even escape from a coyote. That's right, you know God created everything to be in order. I want that better way to live by his example than to follow one of his own creations, like the chipmunk. Wait, hey mom, that reminds me of a song. I think it's called A Place for Everything. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Let's sing it together. Three, two, one. A place for everything, for everything. giant number three on the side of your paper. Step number three. You need to draw a smaller backward number three on the other side of the paper. Or you can flip the paper and draw a smaller number three. of the cheek. Step number five. Let's draw two ovals for chipmunk's eyes. One upside down triangle for chipmunk's nose and two rectangles for chipmunk's teeth.
Step number six: Outline the whole head. Fill in the eyes. Dot the cheeks. Draw two semicircles for ears, and draw the tuft of hair. You, you made, made a chipmunk greeting, greeting card. card. First Corinthians fourteen forty, but all things must be done becomingly and in order.